What's up guys? Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper. And of course, I'm Old Snapper. Um, Y'all know I like to mix it up. Sometimes I do this stuff with the video pointing at me. Sometimes I wear the head cam like I am now. Just uh, thought I hadn't done this in a little while, so I thought I would do it this way and give y'all a little different view. So y'all don't have to look at my uh, ugly face as I, as I talk to you. But anyway, like I said, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We do everything here, trucking related, trucking news, uh, flat bedding now, um, talking about lot lizards from back in the day, some of the old lot lizard stories. I'll do that every now and then. Um, the economy, we talk about just about everything. Go live every now and then. But anyway, like I said, welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper. Hope all y'all are staying safe. Y'all's week started out Being good. good. Let's get in. I this. delivered that load this morning, the uh, air conditioning unit, which you're going to see the uh, the clips of that coming off the trailer here at the end. It was a 8,500 pound air conditioning unit. You're going to see the crane taking off the trailer. I'll put that in this video somewhere. Also, I'm going to add in the uh, clips from Montana, Idaho, and Washington from my uh, drive cam up there. You know, when I stop at the end of the day, I'll go back through the footage and I'll pull some of the footage sometimes to stick in these videos for y'all. In my opinion, that I-90 corridor through Chlordaline, uh, Idaho, uh, Western Montana, and uh, Eastern Washington is some of the most beautiful scenery you'll ever see. I've heard me say it before you know as a driver we're blessed in a lot of ways and being able to see that being I'm from another part of the country it's just awesome it's amazing and uh, it's some like I said some of the most beautiful scenery you will ever see in your entire life awesome but the load came off without a hitch no problem paperwork signed uh, drove on out of there I drove uh, I stayed the night at this truck stop I'm in last night and then I ran over into Kent and delivered now I'm back out here in uh, Moses Lake um, I got to pick up a man lift tomorrow and I think a scissor lift over over here in Moses Lake uh, there's another hunt truck, a couple, of, two or three trucks down from me. Uh, Paul, one of the guys that was in my orientation, he's down there. He he picked up the same thing today. I don't know where he's going though. I didn't uh, go down there and fool with him. I'm pretty tired. I just wanted to do this video and get it edited and get it online. And uh, I'm sure he's tired. It's it's the evening, so he's probably headed to bed himself. I'll be headed to bed here shortly as well. But uh, my load is going down to Houston. So you think about it, three loads. I picked up on the yard. My first load went to North Carolina. And then from uh, North Carolina, I came out here to Washington. Now I'm picking up here in Washington and I'm going to Houston, Texas. That'd be my third load. And uh, I mean, it, it's everything's going great. You know, it was uh, with Deadhead and all, it was like 2,900 and some change from North Carolina out to here. That's with the Deadhead for me to go get that load. This load here is uh, 2,300 miles loaded. I think 2,314 loaded, and then 187 empty. So it's a, it's a pretty decent load too. Uh, this load will deliver down there on Monday in uh in houston texas so that pretty and i'll have enough time probably to get a restart in on this load i'm chasing hours now as it is and i chased hours from north carolina all the way out here 
Um, it was 1500 mile run, my first run going out to North Carolina. So I didn't have a whole lot. Plus they had counted part of my orientation, you know, they add up those days. So I didn't have a whole lot when I, a whole lot left when I got out to North Carolina. But I was able to deliver this load on time and I'll get the next one on time as well. But, uh, Like I said, I'm up here in Moses Lake, Washington. It's a little dreary looking out there right now. Uh, snowing this morning, as you're going to see in some of the footage. And uh, a little cold front working its way across the country. Unfortunately, when I get loaded in the morning, I'm going to have to drive pretty much with that cold front all the way back. <laughs> so it uh, it's going to be an interesting trip. And I'll try to get some more footage on the way back from my dash cam. In the evenings whenever i stop i'll look back through it and try to pull some more stuff for you guys um something i wanted to talk about man that uh i was thinking about or may have had a conversation with another driver about it and that might have been what brought it to mind Some of the nastiest things I've done as a driver. Uh, one time I was working for, I think I was working for Stevens Transport at that time. They sent me out to Atlanta to do a truck recovery. And uh, I got in the truck, I got there, I got to, I went to get into the truck and the smell about knocked me down. Well, the driver that was in the truck before me had uh, covered the walls and everything with uh, feces, with poop, with shit. So I refused, absolutely refused to haul that load. But uh, anyway, <laughs> that was that was one of the worst times, one of the nastiest times in trucking. Another time with that same company, I believe they sent me out to LA to do a truck recovery. And it was bad too. It, it was horrible. There was piss bottles and piss cups all over the inside of the truck. I mean, it was just absolutely, absolutely a nightmare. You know, sometimes in trucking, you got to learn to say no. You know, and those were two times that I said no and I stuck to it. I would absolutely would not pick either one of those trucks up. You know, which uh, leads me to another little topic. It amazes me how nasty some drivers live out here in these in these small places you know i mean it's it's easy for a truck to get cluttered my truck will get cluttered if i don't clean it out every day within a couple days it'll just be flat all jacked up you know so you got to stay on top of it and it's good for your mental health if you stay on top of it it's really bad for your mental health if you let your truck uh get too too disorganized and too uh out of order see him going through the parking lot trying to dodge the uh, potholes <laughs> some of the potholes are pretty deep but anyway everything here is going great i've enjoyed it um it's it's been awesome uh, i know there's one or two of you that are in orientation this week that I guess found my channel through the uh, hunt transportation video I did and y'all y'all were already on y'all's way here I didn't have anything to do with y'all coming but you know uh, I guess today was y'all's first day of orientation I hope everything went great for for you guys uh, I really like it here and I'm sure y'all will too but anyway that's about all I got I hope y'all out there staying safe y'all stay out of trouble Y'all see old snapper out there? I got my CB hooked up. Y'all be sure to... It reminds me to turn it off. Y'all be sure to give me a holler. Say what's up. And uh, I'll give you a holler back. Y'all keep trucking. Mold snapper. And I'm out.